Hi guys. Okay, we're back and we're back with another lunchroom lady recipe. And I've had a lot of requests for this one. And it is the school lunch room, uh, lunch lady pizza. And I know you you think, well, pizza's pizza. And that's what I think too. Me and Danny, we really love pizza. But uh, I don't know, there's something just a little bit different about the lunchroom lady pizza. So it's an easy uh, recipe and uh, it does call for yeast and uh, most of our dough recipes in the lunchroom, well pretty much all of them, call for powdered milk. So you can use whole powdered milk or you can use non-fat, it don't matter, either one's going to work. So the first thing we're going to do, but I want to show y'all, you're going to need probably about uh, 12, 13, 14 ounces of um, some kind of pizza sauce or if you got some leftover spaghetti sauce or something like that either one's gonna work whatever you like I just went ahead and I opened up a can of uh, I had crushed tomatoes and that's what I like to use for my pizza sauce and I just added um, a little bit of salt pepper garlic just a couple pinches of sugar because the acidity uh, garlic and uh, some Italian seasoning and I've got some pizza sauce right here and what I say is season it to your taste to what you like so it was about that quick now this recipe you're going to need a half a sheet pan and we use a lot of these in the lunchroom for a lot of different reasons our pizzas were usually made on the full sheet pan a half a sheet pan is 18 by 13 and that's what I got here and I bought a couple of these at Sam's Club and I'm sure you can go online and find them and I've got parchment paper on here and I also went ahead and put a little bit of olive oil on here too so we got that ready so all we gotta do is mix up our dry ingredients and uh, you can use bread flour I'm just I'm using all-purpose flour because that's what I got the most of. So I've got two and two-thirds cup of all-purpose flour, and I've got let's see three-fourths cup of non-fat dry milk, two tablespoons of sugar. I know y'all probably thinking why in the world you're putting sugar in it, but that's just that's what the recipe calls for. So. And then you've got a package of yeast, and you're going to put this in with your dry ingredients. Um, you want to, a lot of people use rapid rise. We never did, but uh, it does make a difference if you use quick rise yeast. But that, I don't have any, so I'm just hoping for the best that it uh, go ahead and rise a little bit. So, and all we got left is a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to stir that up. Now, it, when you see me make bread and stuff, y'all never see me put salt in with my yeast. I always put my salt in last. But uh, that's just the way this recipe works because you're not going to want a, a big uh, rise on it. So we got all the dry ingredients mixed up. About that fast. So what I got left, I'm going to make me a little hole in the middle, is I've, I've got two tablespoons of oil. Um, you can use olive oil if you'd like that taste. You can use uh, your vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you use. It's two tablespoons. And I'm going to put it in here with my warm water, and it's one and two-thirds cup of warm water. So I'm just going to put my oil in there with my water. And we know that oil and water don't mix. And we're just going to pour this 
over our dry ingredients. And we're going to stir it up. Now I never know if it's going to be loose or if it's going to all come together until I get it all mixed up. And it looks like to me it's going to all come together pretty good. And see how the dough is coming together. So I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Make sure everything gets good and incorporated. Now, our pizzas, your topping, you can have Italian sausage, you can have hamburger. We most of the time had either a sausage or we had pepperoni or we just had plain cheese because a lot of kids just wanted plain cheese pizza. But the thing about school lunch room pizzas is there's not the ooey gooey cheese just, you know, smothered all over the, the top of it. And, uh, but there was always quite a bit of meat on it. And I'm making pepperoni. And if y'all remember, the pepperoni pizzas, you didn't have, or ours never did, you didn't have the little round pepperonis. You had the little chopped up pepperonis, is what you had. So I took mine, there's probably about two cups here of chopped up pepperonis. I'm going to finish stirring this up a little bit. We always had uh, mozzarella cheese. Um, sometimes uh, we had breakfast pizza and there might be uh, cheddar cheese on it, yellow cheese, uh, that was good. So I've got that mixed up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out on my pan. And it is a sticky loose dough. And when I get it on here, I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes before I try to work with it. And I'm going to set my oven for 475. So try to get as much of that dough out of that bowl as you can. You may have to get the scraper up get it all out. But you can see I've got my dough on here. Now, I'm just going to let it sit there. I'm going to let it rest just a little bit. I'm going to get the rest of my stuff together, wash my hands, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. I have to tell y'all, I'm sorry about the end of that clip. I didn't know it, but evidently my camera was just slowly easing its way down on the counter and I didn't know it. So I apologize for that, but I'm going to bring y'all over here where you can see the crust. Um, but y'all see me where I just poured it out on the pan. I didn't need it, it didn't do anything, and I just let it rest. In fact, I think it rested more than five minutes because I was busy shredding the cheese and stuff. But um, what I've done is I poured some olive oil over the top of the dough and on my hands, and I just started working it in and spreading it out. It done a really good job spreading out. Okay, here's our dough. And like I said, I put oil on my hands and on top of the dough, and I just start spreading it out and it just spreads out real real easy and you just want to spread it all the way out to your corners and it's probably going to pull back a little bit but that's okay just try to get it as even as you can it's not going to be perfect now the one thing you can do with this pizza i mean sure pizza you can make it however you want to put on whatever you want to but what i'm going to do is i'm just making the plain, simple, lunchroom lady pizza. Nothing fancy on it, but you can make it any way you want to. So that crust was about that easy. Just worked it to the edge. This will be fun for the kids to make too. So what we're going to do now is my oven is heating at 475. 
I'm not going to put anything on it yet. I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to let it cook for about eight minutes. Then I'm going to bring it out and then we'll put our toppings on and stick it back in there. Okay, I just got the pizza out of the oven. It was in there for eight minutes. Now all we're going to do is put our sauce in here. You just put any pizza sauce you want on there. Earlier when I said uh, Mr. Brown and I, you know, we just think of pizza as a pizza. What I meant by that is just whatever you put on it. If you're the kind of person that just likes cheese, well just put you some cheese on there. If you like lots of meat, Put you a lot of meat on there. I like a lot of vegetables myself. So whatever you put on there, it's a pizza. So, we've got our sauce on there. Now what we're going to do is put the pepperoni that I cut up to kind of look like what the pepperoni would look like in the school lunchroom pizzas. There's about two cups here. We're just going to sprinkle it on there. So this pizza really and truly are coming together pretty fast. And like I said, you can put any kind of meat on there that you want. Now we do uh, still make a Breakfast pizza, too, that's really good. And it has uh, breakfast sausage on it and cheese and eggs. So it's good, too. Okay. So we got all that pepperoni on there, and I've got about eight ounces of shredded cheese and uh, like I said, the cheese wasn't it didn't cover the whole pizza. It was just kind of like spotty on the pizza. So eight ounces is that's plenty. Now my oven's waiting on me. It's still hot, 475. I'm cooking this on the second to the. Uh, last to the bottom, second to the bottom rack. Okay, so it's done. I'm going to take it back out there and put it in the oven for another eight minutes. Okay, it's been eight minutes and I brought it in out of the oven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this parchment paper and I'm going to move it over here so I can cut it without cutting the sheet pan up. Looks just like the lunchroom lady pepperoni pizza, don't it? Now, we all know what makes it a school lunchroom pizza, and that's the way that it's cut. And the way that it's cut is in rectangles. Now, we had to cut all them big uh, sheet pans of pizza, and it did take a while. What you want to do, and I'm going to probably mess it up, is you want to find your middle. Because Mr. Brown says I can't cut a straight line for nothing. Okay, we found our middle. So you got your two equal sides. We're going to cut them in half. Okay, now we're going to go long ways. 
also a portion size. We're going to try this. Some of them might be bigger than the other, but it'll be close. So anyways, if y'all remember, your lunchroom pizza was rectangle. And that's hot. In fact, I can cut this one right here in half again. But anyways, that's it. So I'm going to get me and Mr. Brown a piece of pizza and we're going to try it. So what's going on? <laughs> we are back in time. Back in time. We're in the lunch room. Well, you know what? You know what? What? <laughs> I didn't have pizza when I was in my lunch room. You didn't? No. You I did at Oak Ridge. You did when I started because they had pizza. Did they? Yes. I didn't when I was in grade school. I don't never no, remember pizza. They didn't have pizza. They didn't have stuff like that. But anyways. I had some breakfast pizza at Oak Ridge. This tastes exactly like the lunchroom pizza. Does it? The texture, the crust, and everything. So, we're back in time, and uh, we're at the lunchroom, and we're fixing a pizza. Were we dating then? And the only thing missing is a half a cup of corn and a brownie. <laughs> 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 because they always had corn with pizza. I don't understand that. Always. So, we had pizza. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you. <laughs> does that not taste like lunch lunchroom pizza? It does to me. It does. So we were eating this when we were dating. <laughs> well, at school, I don't know about anywhere else, but what I mean. Yeah. You know, and we always had corn and usually a cookie or a brownie with it. Why would you just have corn and pizza? I don't know. That was on the menu all the time with pizza. It was corn. Y'all remember that? It was always corn with pizza. But it's pretty good. It's not? <laughs> You're killing me. I burnt my tongue off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's good. <laughs> I'm really bugging you. <laughs> yeah. I've been telling everybody I was going to say something that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell them the truth. Because people have been wanting a recipe for lunch lady. If you like it. School pizza. That's it. School pizza. The texture, the crust, the type, everything tastes just like it. It's not my favorite pizza. Though. <laughs> No, I know you like stuff on your pizza. But it is good. I mean, it, it really is. You like thin and crispy. I like thin and crispy and... But... Sometimes I like barbecue sauce on it. I know, I know it. Anyways, I hope y'all try this recipe. If you want to go back in time, and a lot of y'all been asking me about it, and uh, this is going to remind you of it so much. If you put a hamburger on it, I mean, you don't know how you go... It really would be just your school pizza. <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> but anyways, it's good. No, it is. It's good. So anyways, y'all try it. I'm, I'm just having go. fun. Yeah, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing to knock him out like I used to in school, <laughs> so I'm going to do. <laughs> but anyways, God bless everybody, and we'll see you probably in a day or two. But it's, it's good pizza. <laughs> oh, I gotta have fun every once in a while. You see me eating every bite, every other bite, and I mean, piece of pizza. I don't know how you could get any closer to it. Tis a lot. Hamburger. Yeah, that's true. Just play no hamburger, it'd be just right. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>